Welcome back to the channel today. We have the LC10B5 from Meerkat RC. Now they're an Australian company who sells um, LC racing products. So make sure you head over to meerkat.com, I believe. I'll put it in the description down below the uh, website. Um, check them out. The LC Racing offer a, a multiples of different um, buggies, either kit and ready to run, I believe, on their website. So go and check out Meerkat RC. But um, let's check out the LC 10B5. Um, I've already built it, so let's head over and I'll let you know exactly what I think about it and show you what I've done with this buggy. So welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can catch our weekly videos. Now, um, like I said on the intro there, I've been looking at one of these LC racing buggies, maybe looking at getting into some local racing and seeking those avenues out. Um, so, you know, I think this is basically a copy of like the X-Ray um, RC buggy. And obviously they are um, quite expensive. Um, so I think this is kind of like a, a copy of that style of um, buggy. But um, yeah, I've put this one together, super impressed with it. So let's check it out. Um, it goes together quite easily, as you can see. It's got this small um, style little box here. We get a suggestion for box art. And obviously we've got a little bit about the chassis um, on the side there. So um, lots of carbon fibre. Um, some nice shocks in this kit. So like I said, very, very impressed. And I think for the price point around the $500, um, it's definitely a great buggy if you are looking at getting into sort of some racing. So the kit went together um, nice and smoothly. It kind of reminded me of um, definitely not like Tamiya, but more like some of the Schumacher kits that I've bought. Um, everything's sort of in its own little packet and each step has its own packet. So it's quite easy to put together and it's an awesome um, buggy when it all comes together. So this is it here. Um, I think it's come out quite nice. It's the first time I've done a like a blend um, faded paint job. So um, yeah, I've learned a few tips and tricks for next time. So some of the things that I can sort of give to the viewers out there is as you can see, I started off with a like a fluorescent green color and we went to fluorescent yellow. Um, as per most people racing, they usually don't paint the wings, so I left that one blank. Um, and we've added some um, sort of some brand names that I've used throughout um, the car. Obviously, the chassis kit doesn't come with tires, so you have to source your own tires. So I've got some Proline tires on there. Um, I've got a nice Savox servo, and obviously we've just gone with the LC10 B5 um, decal. Now, um, I don't think, I, I probably could have put another little coat of the green on before I, I did the, the fade, but we, we know that for next time. And I've noticed on some of the race buggies, um, you know, people pick up a colour that they've put on the car and kind of do the window surrounds with that. So um, we've gone ahead and done that. Um, and obviously I just did a bit of a sort of paintball effect um, with some metallic blue sort of splatter. Um, started off a bit heavier down here and lightened it up as we went to the back of the car. So I think it's come out quite nice. Um, a lot of the race buggies are these fluoro colours, so I kind of figured, um, you know, that it suits the car. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think of the paint job. It's not my best one. Like I said before, there's a few things that I've learnt uh, from this, um, but I think it's come out quite nice for a first attempt. So let's take the body off and have a look at the chassis because that is probably the most um, spectacular part about the car. Um, so let's take the body off and I'll show you what it looks like. So we've got the body off and I'll just show you in a little bit closer. That's that sort of fade 
that we went with. Now I just backed it with white, obviously to make the um, colors pop a little bit more. Um, I could probably go in and blast that with black um, just, to, just to darken it up so when we look through the windows and whatnot. But um, for now, I think it will do. Um, so super happy with that. And the other cool thing is that replacement bodies for these are pretty cheap. So if you um, did want to do one more of a shelf queen sort of style one or you want to do a racing one, I think they're around about 30 odd dollars for the bodies and not too bad at all. So moving on to the chassis, we have, we've obviously we've got diffs uh, front and rear. So they're oil diffs. Um, and then you get the option of putting either a center um, oil diff or a slipper clutch in. I went for the slipper clutch. I really don't know why. I think when I was building it, I just opened the slipper clutch bag uh, before I realized that you actually got two different choices. Um, so that's sort of how we've ended up with that. Um, so as you can see, we've got some nice sort of carbon fiber parts here that hold everything together and some mounts and we're going to uh, carbon chassis stiffener down the bottom and obviously the servo mount is carbon fiber as well. Front and rear shock towers are also carbon fiber. So um, we've got some nice composite materials in there and obviously the car is obviously fully ball raced and it is super, super smooth. We've got some big bore uh, shocks front and rear and again they are some of the nicest sort of shocks that I kind of think um, I've ever built and put on a RC car. So I can kind of see that this definitely is going to be, you know, it's moving from, you know, you, you um, hobby grade um, and, you know, if you look at things like a Top Force or even the new Black Egress, um, yes, they are sort of racing but definitely outdated compared to looking at some modern um, race buggies. So you do need to supply your own tyres um, with this kit. Uh, so I've got some Proline tyres on there. Um, but other than that, it, it you know, you get everything you need and all the... The only thing I had, I think I had to buy was the um, oil for the shocks and the diff oil. So I don't think they were included from memory. Um, but I had some here. Um, and the guys at Meerkat RC actually sent me some setup guides um, for what weight um, to use. So if you do purchase some things off them, super helpful um, with getting it set up for what you need. Um, I've gone with a Savox servo. Low profile, nice and fast. So hopefully, if we get this one out on the track, um, we can, you know, obviously it's set up quite nicely and we've got a decent servo in there. Now I haven't decided on a power uh, choice yet. Obviously I've got multiple different um, brushless combos that I can put in here. So I'm not overly sure um, what sort of turn we're gonna run or whether I research what local clubs, are, um, what you're allowed to use. Um, and select a motor um, an ESC package for that. So at the moment we've just done the, the chassis and the body But I just wanted to get it onto the channel because it is something different and it's come together absolutely beautifully um, and Yeah, highly recommend the LC racing um, Like I said the guys over at meerkat RC Basically said um, they don't care what I say about this car. They said that you know basically say it how it is um, as I said, I'm not being paid to um, to tell you it's good. So um, initial thoughts is went together beautifully. It's definitely a high spec kit. Only thing that I could sort of say could have been improved in the kit was yeah, it could have come with tires. But then again, um, being that race buggy, it gives you the option to put what you want on it and the sort of surface you're running on. Um, and I think if you look at it from you know, it's kind of a copy of that sort of X-ray style buggy. Um, the center chassis here is metal, um, so I guess there's probably someone out there that will make a carbon fiber upgrade part for that. But other than that, I think um, the car is really, really nice. And I guess one of the other letdowns that I found was, you know, the body itself is quite nice, the wings quite thick and strong. Um, the decals that you get with the kit, um, pretty poor. So I'm lucky that I had bought some Proline tires and, and some Savox products so I could sort of put my own sort of stickers on because the stickers that you get in the kit are pretty much LC10 B5 four-wheel drive electric race buggy um, and that's it. So the decals wise, pretty poor, but like I said before, um, we've come up with a what I believe a nice sort of livery and a design with some of those um, brand name products that we've put in the kit.
Well, we'll leave it there for today's video. Just wanted to show um, you where I was up to on the LC10 V5 um, buggy uh, that I got off uh, Meerkat RC. Um, and I definitely told those guys that I'd give them a shout out on the channel. They did me a good deal on this one. Um, and local Australian guys, so always want to support local. So if you do want any of their products, head to that website that I've put in the description. Lots of different um, cars. And if you were like me and a bit curious about what they had to offer, um, I, if I had sort of gotten one of these a year or two ago when I first sort of looked at it, um, you know, I wish I kind of did because it's definitely leaps and bounds ahead of um, some other kits and whatnot. Um, and for the price point, I think it's very, very good considering the standard um, bits um, like universal joints and parts and big ball shocks. It definitely represents good value. Now, um, just to give you a bit of a sneak peek, we have got the uh, Procat Classic, obviously um, from Schumacher. We've painted up the body. I did a shorts video on this one. So that'll be um, coming to the channel very, very soon. And I've got some exciting news about a giveaway, but we'll go into that a little bit more on a dedicated video. So um, as always, hit like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, go and check the LC Racing range out. Um, you won't be disappointed, and it's definitely something different to look at if you don't have many manufacturers in your collection. So um, once again, I'll see you on another video. Bye.